<laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm B, and I have a show called Magical Cities of Art. Could you please tell me what's your name? What's the name of the show? Magical Cities of Art. What is your name? My name is Adam Weissman. Okay, and what are you doing in here? Okay. I'm here today with Global Justice for Animals and the Environment. We are a group that works on opposing trade policies that undermine our ability to protect our environment, to protect animals, and that abridge the rights of indigenous communities. We work to let people know that NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, the World Trade Organization, and other trade agreements like the Peru and Central America Free Trade Agreements are a major threat to our environment um, and are a major boon to corporations who use, um, who are involved in industries like mining, factory farming, oil ex exploration, to undermine our environmental laws in the interest of their greater profits. These agreements allow corporations to sue our governments for enforcing their environmental laws and allow Corpor allow corporations to destroy the livelihoods of family farmers by eliminating agricultural tariffs that protect sustainable family farms in favor of corporate agribusiness and factory farms that destroy our environment and are inhumane to animals. So we work to tell Congress that people oppose these trade agreements that really are for the benefit of wealthy corporations and not for people in our environment and to let them and to let the public know where our legislators stand on these issues so that we can hold them accountable to their votes on trade policy. We're here today to educate New Yorkers and tourists about these trade agreements that they may have only heard a little bit about or may not know much about and let them know what a big threat they are to our environment. How they are undermining efforts to protect baby seals from being skinned alive um, because Europe has passed a ban on seal products but Canada is challenging at the World Trade Organization. How they're Try, how they're undermining El Salvador's effort to protect their water because a company called Pacific Rim is using the U.S. Central America Free Trade Agreement to sue El Salvador for over a hundred million dollars for saying that this company cannot use cyanide to, to gold, mine for gold right by the country's river that supplies most of its water. This isn't even a U.S. corporation, it's a Canadian corporation, but they've set up a dummy corporation Corporation in the United States in order to be able to use our free trade agreement with El Salvador to sue the country and poison its citizens. These trade agreements are being used right now by Mexico to sue the U.S. because we have laws, we have a dolphin safe tuna label that tells people that when you buy tuna it was less likely to have killed dolphins. Well Mexico wants to sell dolphin deadly tuna under our dolphin safe label so they're suing the U.S. government in the World Trade Organization at the World Trade Organization right now. These are only a couple examples of how free trade policies are being used to undermine our environmental and animal protective laws. And we're here today to let people understand this threat so that they can let their legislators know that they oppose these agreements and support more responsible and sustainable trade policies. Make informed decisions. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your help. It Thank was you great. Thank you for your work to help get the word out. Thank you.